Hi, I'm Jack Moore. I'm here with uh, Portfolio Manager Jim Kramer, and we're going to talk about our new position, Activists. I can't be more excited about this. You know, I've had Brett Saunders on the show a couple times. Brent is a visionary. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people say, wait a second, all he does is buy companies. No, what he does is take really great companies and make them better. The most recent being Allergan. I was very close to Allergan. As a matter of fact, uh, David Pyatt had been on Mad Money more than any other CEO. He held out for a great price. A lot of people feel that Brent paid too much. Wrong. Because now this company has $25 in earnings power. Yes, that is, an, that is a number that's aspirational. But $25 with the stock below 300 how can we miss? It's unbelievable. And that $25, I think they're going to get to it a lot sooner than people are expecting. You do. Okay. And you put, you put a 15, 16 times multiple, which is so conservative. Because right now it's trading at a 0.6 times peg ratio, which is price earnings to growth. And that is an unbelievable value. I mean, their long-term growth rate is almost 18%. And what people have to understand is that Botox is the most undervalued pipeline within a drug. Uh, David Pyatt had just scratched the surface of what this drug can do. Now, they have a DARPEN study, which is going to, uh, that's going to take home from macular wet and dry, but mostly wet, against Regeneron. I like Regeneron still. No reason to sell Regeneron. The market's big. But the other thing that, that this company has is what Brent calls, it's the growth pharma. What's he saying there? He's saying Bristol doesn't have the growth, Lilly doesn't have the growth, Pfizer. He's got the growth. That's why the portfolio managers are so intrigued by it. He got unbelievable rates when he borrowed money. I mean, just amazing, as if he was the U.S. government. <laughs> this is the favored name. And not only that, but I got to tell you, he's a great guy. A lot of the guys who run big pharma, they, don't have, they have small ambitions. This guy runs junior pharma. He's got big ambitions. That's who you bank on. Yeah, and he's just so bankable. He has never missed, and that is compelling. Thanks, Jim. Thank you.